Come children, let's learn the story. Summer holidays are here. Piglu doesn't have to go to school. Still he wakes up early in the morning. Rubbing his eyes, he comes out in the garden. He is restless to hear the chirping of birds and to see them. His eyes begin to search the garden for them. At a careful glance, he is able to spot a magpie, a sparrow, a bulbul, a parrot and many other birds. One by one, they greet him. Piklu begins to count them one, two, three. He moves further. Suddenly, two yellow-beaked minas fly over his head. Piklu becomes happy. He claps his hands with joy. The flowers sing their head as if nodding in happiness. He can hear the bees humming cheerfully. Piklu plays with the birds all day long. He baths them and feeds them too. Next morning, Piklu sees a small miner fluttering in a bird cage hanging from a tree. Its legs are tied to a chain. He is shocked to see this. Piklu runs to his mother and asks, Who has caged the poor miner ma? He learns that his elder brother Toton caught it in the nearby forest. Piklo notices that the bird is sad and that it does not eat anything. Once in a while, it gives out a sad cry. Piklo too feels sad for the bird. Hearing the miner cry, no other birds come to the garden. He wonders what to do. Then an idea strikes his mind. He brings a chair, climbs on it to reach the cage and unlocks it. Piklo opens the chain tied to its leg and caresses the bird softly. Then he calls his mother who comes with an ointment. Mother applies some ointment to the bird's wounded leg. The miner feels better and chirps at Piklo. He lovingly teases the bird and teaches her to say his name. Soon the miner learns to say Piklu, Piklu. Next, she climbs up to a tree and jumps from one branch to another. Finally, she flies higher and higher into the vast expanse of the blue sky. The red sun shines on the eastern sky. The flowers of the garden are blessed with the morning light. Dragonflies dance around. Bees and butterflies flutter over the colorful flowers. All of them are very happy. But Piklu is worried. Will the Mina find her mother? Does she know the way to her home? Next morning, Piklu hears someone calling him by his name. He rushes out. The Mina is sitting with its mother on the branch of a tiger shrub. Piklu shouts with joy. Toton also comes out hearing his voice. He looks at the happy Maina. He feels sorry for putting it in a cage. He promises never to cage a bird in future. Children, do you have such experience like our Piklu? Have you ever tried to help a bird or animal in your life? You are so kind if it is yes. They also have the freedom to live in this beautiful world without any fear. We must not harm them. We must not cage them. We must help them to fly freely in the sky. So let's join our hands together to protect the birds, animals, other creatures and the entire nature. Thank you.